All right, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about combat in Forever Skies. Now, there are five different enemies. You have the bees. Everybody knows about the bees. You've got the crust peed, a giant centipede looking dude. And then you have Luling Cricket. I'm going to show you that right now. And then we'll get on to the two new ones. Now, I'm not going to show you how to deal with the hornets and the crust peed because, quite frankly, as soon as you have a crossbow, you just shoot them and that's it's pretty much it. But this guy, you're going to meet him before you have a crossbow, usually. And he's over there. He's, he's waving at us. He's like, come say hi, buddy. Come say hi. So, you want to be crouched. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to lunge forward and swipe at the same time. So, as I was coming forward, I also hit my left mouse button to swipe at the same time. I'm going to show you one more time because there's another one up here. He's right up these stairs. Alright. So we're crouching. And as we come in, we're going to swipe. So the motion of the knife comes out as you're coming in so he doesn't get the chance to hit you. Now, sometimes he will still hit you and there's just... It's just bad luck, I guess. Now we'll go on to the more damaging things. All right, next we're going to talk about the webling larva. Now this is slightly out of order. If you have just started the main storyline quest, you will meet the mantis first. Then you will meet these guys because you have to go through the mantis to get through that door right there. However, these guys are much lower of a priority difficulty level. So I'm going to go ahead and do these first to show you make sure I have bolts for things I do indeed so you need the charged bolt to get past this door we're just gonna zoom in here bypass everything and go down and play with the uh, bad dudes so these guys aren't actually that damaging like they do almost no damage but what they do is put pressure on you because they can come in quite a few at a time and they give you viruses so the best way to deal with the individual is a bolt I wouldn't suggest using a knife you can use a knife if you have to however uh, getting that close you there is certainly a chance that you're gonna get got by one let's go over this way first There's one right below us. Okay. That little blur was him coming out of his, the cocoon thing. There he is right there. So these guys, they, I don't know if they have any hit points. Maybe just one. Boom, dead. Now, they come out rapidly. So there's already probably another brewing. Do you see? Let me see if I can get this. Let's just go over there. I'll show you. Let's see if I can stay out of the proximity of it. Nope. All right, where did he go? Doesn't see me yet. So this thing right here, you can use your knife. It takes two hits with the charge knife. Or, since I'm like kind of over here and you don't, they don't see me. Oh, I missed. Shame. You can use charge bolt. Charge bolt will knock these out in one shot. Just like that. And if there's one spawning at that moment in time, it'll knock it out as well. I have oxygen on this character. I do. Not much. Let's go up here, take a breath, and we'll go down to the arena for these guys. Alright, let's go down to the arena. The whole purpose of this arena is to overwhelm you. So as if you have charged bolt, as soon as you see these, just take out the hive. And then they can't spawn. Now there's one behind there. You can see it right there. But I can't shoot it from here. There's usually one right over here. There is. I'm going to shoot it from there. There's one there. Charge bolts are amazing. Sometimes there's one right behind this. Not today. Sometimes there's one at the... Yep, yeah, he's right there. And I can't... They did very well at making it so... Okay, let's climb up this ladder. Be easy way to get there. 
And there he is right there. Now, you can do this with a regular bolt. I'll show you, because I'm actually running low on these. You want to do regular bolts. There's one right there. It takes four. Now, they can't actually get you in certain places, like on top of this, for example. They can come up the stairs, but they can't get you here, so they're just kind of like hang out. I can shoot this four times with regular bolts that you have tons of. Whoa, they changed that. See, he gave me Pyrexia. Which is one of the most annoying ones because then it's the screen goes all weird and stuff. Oh, wow, they changed it so that he can get out to you on here. Nice. <laughs> and there's another one. I'm going to charge this and take it out with a knife. Yeah, I, I love not being able to see. There's another one over there. And that is the last of the hives. Yep. Hey. This is why I don't uh, recommend using a knife. Especially when you have pyrexia. Because it takes all of your stamina out. Really quickly. So. Charge bolt. Very easy. Regular bolt. Does it a little bit worse. And then knife is not the best idea. They... He didn't do, what did he do, like, four hit points of damage, maybe? So it's not there. They are not there to hurt you. They are there to give you a virus. I will clear all this up, and we'll meet you with the mantises. And we are now in the location where we will find the mantises. One of the locations. They're also in the suburbs now. And the way you get through this door, and, and it's all these lily pads on the on the ground, that's how you can tell you're in the right spot. Is you're going to shoot this thing. And then we're going to run down, and we are going to check them out. Now, the first time you come to this, there will be just one mantis in each of the two arenas that you have to get past to get to the vault area. Now that, since I have been here multiple times, there are three mantises in each. Now, I currently have the, the standard bolt. That is not going to work for us. You want to use poisoned bolt. I am on normal difficulty, if I didn't say that before. Normal difficulty. It takes two shots to kill them with the poison arrow. So that means you need 12 poison arrows minimum if you don't miss. Oh, hi. Okay, there's one. Now, I have found they don't overlap. Maybe they did it one time, but they... Oh, he still hit me in here. Boy, they, they uh, upped that, didn't they? Yikes. Where are you guys? Is that that one? Hi. Ow. Woo wee. All right, so got him. Man, I gotta back up. All right. <laughs> Their throw is annoying more than it is anything else. It doesn't do much damage. So we're gonna sit and watch for him. And then we're going to hit him again. I, f I found with the poison arrow, it doesn't really matter where you hit him. Alright, he's down. One left. And I think he's right over here. It's a bad time to need oxygen. I'm going to go get oxygen. We'll come back. Since it is right here. I know I have liquid oxygen on me, but it is right here. <sighs> Considering I have hemorrhagic fever. Warning. Entering into toxic zone. Where's the third one? Sucker gonna jump out on me from behind a wall or something. No, I'll take you. That's unusual. 
I've been to a bunch of these. I don't know why there was only two, but whatever. Let's move on. So oxygen station here. I usually bring the pet with me. Probably should have, but... Alright, so you can already hear him. Oh, oh. Alright, tagged one right away. Perfect. There's three of them right there. Alright, one down. Got him. Their spit does very little damage, but it is annoying. Can't stand in it either. Alright, you're gonna be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, two down. Oh, shot over his head like an idiot. Alright, got him. Let's wait. Get him tagged again. Yeah, you didn't like it, did you, buddy? Ow. Oh, I'm on it. No, no, no. Don't you just... Alright, got him too. Is there going to be another one in here or something? So, if you can't find these, get out your scanner. And as you're walking around, it'll highlight them. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Dang, how far back we kill that other one? What is going on? Where did we kill him? Oh, we killed him. He ran up front. Alright, fine. Sometimes back here, you will find one more. At least on beta, I would find one more sometimes. But you can also find one or two nests, usually one right here, and then one kind of back there somewhere. You'll hear them when they spawn. And it just did. Die. By the way, don't be too close when you do that. Because uh, when it explodes, it'll pop you too. It's not fun. Uh, while we're here, I'm going to show you this. This is where you get your upgraded crossbow. It's right there. Just so that you know. And then this, of course, is where you turn in your artifacts. Very cool. I got one to sell, right? I picked something up. A gnome. That. There we go. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody.